Hey everybody, and welcome to Purtle Monday. Purtle Monday, the place where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. What are Purtle Mondays? Well, we work on puzzles and riddles. We work on them together in order to get better at armchair treasure hunts. Armchair treasure hunts often use puzzles and riddles. So in order for me to get better and everybody else who likes to join the stream also would like to get better at armchair treasure hunts, we work on these together. This way we can improve our lateral thinking, our ability to think outside the box, and improve our vocabulary. Let's see, Bobby D, welcome. Elise, welcome. JK Pioneer, welcome. So we work on puzzles and riddles. We work on them collectively. We give out some emoji cookies at the same time, and we have just a little bit of fun. I have my first puzzle up there on the screen. And it's from the London Typographical Society Souvenir of the Festival of Labor, June 1962. It says, how quickly can you find out what is so unusual about this paragraph? It looks so ordinary that you would think that nothing was wrong with it at all, and in fact, nothing is. But it is unusual. Why? If you study it and think about it, you may find out, but I'm not going to assist you in any way. You must do it without coaching, no doubt. If you work at it for long, it will dawn on you. Who knows? Go to work and try your skill. Par is about half an hour. So this is one that I found online and I thought it was pretty interesting. So I thought I would share it today and I will say I did not figure it out. But I thought it was good enough that I wanted to share with everybody on Purtle Monday and start off my show today this way. Let me see. I could make it a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can make it a little bit bigger. That's better so you can see it. So I'll, I'll repeat it once again. And I, I will say that if you don't get it right away, I don't think it's I don't think you, if you spend some time, it says it'll take about half an hour. I figure somebody's going to see that and say, oh, it's obvious. Because I, I didn't see it, but once I saw the answer, I was like, oh, okay. Now I can see. <laughs> I'll talk about it one, one way. So we're looking for something unusual about this paragraph. How quickly can you find out what is so unusual about this paragraph? It looks so ordinary that you would think that nothing is wrong with it at all. And in fact, nothing is, but it is unusual. Why? If you study it and think about it, you may find out, but I'm not going to assist you in any way. You must, you must do it without coaching. No doubt. If you work at it for long, it will dawn on you. Who knows? Go to work and try your skill. Par is about half an hour. Elise figured it out. There are no E's in the paragraph. No E's are in the paragraph. That is a cookie for Elise. I thought that was pretty good. So you have all of those words. And there isn't an E anywhere to be found. Bobby D was typing it, just not typing it too. <laughs> all right, all right. So we do have a bunch of smarty pants, as Huli likes to say. So we will move on. No E's anywhere in that paragraph. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, we're going to do puzzle a day. This one, I don't know the answer for, but puzzle a day is uh, a guy, he makes a puzzles once a day. And some of them are words. And so I've got it set up so just more word puzzle so we're going to try to determine the answer it says today's puzzle is from only connect the first and second items in this sequence are listed what is the fourth item in this sequence scroll down for a clue for the down okay so there's a clue in this answer kept quiet because you had it a long time ago <laughs> okay okay oh we had it a long time ago all right so I guess that's sometimes why I like them, just because I've seen this before. <laughs> so there's four items in sequence. 
The first one is DQVZHU. The second one is CPUYGT. And then there's a third in the sequence and the fourth in the sequence. Looks like a shift, says Bobby D. Oh, you think it's, you like move one letter to the left or one one to the answer? At least as the answer is answer. A-N-S-W-E-R. Shifts to answer. Oh my goodness. Notice how the individual letters change. So the clue is from the first item to the second item, scroll down for the answer. And then it's <laughs> scroll down for the answer. <laughs> D-C, oh, I see what you're saying. V U Z Y H. Okay, it's in one off of the alphabet. Yep, yep, yep. So then, if you did the third iteration and the fourth iteration, you get the answer is answer. Man, you guys are good. At least got it first. Brian P was second, but at least gets the emoji cookie. All right, let's see what else we got here. Colors and countries without vowels. The following 14 items contain the name of a color followed by a country with all of the vowels removed. There are arbitrarily placed spaces to make things more challenging. An example of a question and answer is CRMSNCD, which becomes Crimson Canada. So how many of the 14 can you solve? So it goes color and then country, the vowels are removed, the vowels are removed, and the space is just arbitrarily placed. Tamara says silver Austria. Silver Austria, that works for the number one. Silver, silver, silver. Everybody's fast on the shift, oh man, they're good. I, I think silver in Austria is correct for that first one. What do we think the second number two is? Orange Palo. P-A-L-A-U-E. Orange. O-R-A-N-G-E. P-L-A-U. Wow. <laughs> all right. I'm going to bring up a couple of them all at the same time. Let's see how many. You guys can see that, right? So I think we've got one and two. So yes, we're looking for three, four, five, and six. I'm gonna go ahead and give cookies for Silver Austria. I think that's gotta be it. Oh, it's a Tamara again with orange. All right, two cookies for Tamara. <laughs> Maroon Oman, Oman. Okay, Maroon Oman. Five is purple. Purple as is it purple as 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 Azbekistan. Oh Azbekistan. Oh yeah, there's no R, so it's not Azerbaijan, it's Uzbekistan. Oh my. Cyan Central African Republic. Oh my goodness. So purple Uzbekistan. <laughs> all right all right let me give out the cookies for all right maroon omen so okay so we're at four five and six cyan tamara purple uzbekistan elise all right so one cookie for tamara One cookie for Elise. Aquamarine. Oh my goodness. Aquamarine. <laughs> okay. I can see Aquamarine. So the country... I was going to say Ecuador, but it's not that. Equatorial Guinea. Oh, jeez. 
Equatorial Guinea. Aquamarine Equatorial. Yeah, at least, at least got to look. Holy cow, yeah. This, these are some hard-to-remember countries, but I guess that's what makes it more difficult. Cookie for at least for Aquamarine Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> All right, how many more? We got 14 total. I'm going to see if I can do three more. All right, well, you got four more. So we're looking for seven, eight, nine, and ten. Recently made a point to learn all the countries, capitals, flags. Oh, my goodness. Bobby D didn't have the spelling right. Oh, yeah, purple Uzbekistan. Purple Uzbekistan. Almost there. I was gonna. I was looking at that, and I thought it was um, Azerbaijan, but if there's no R. Did all get cyan? Yes, I think someone got cyan. Central. Yeah, it was Tamara. Green Uruguay. Green Uruguay. I like it. Tamara. Blue India. Oh no, Tamara's wrapping up. Red Andorra. <laughs> That's three for Tamara right there. And Magenta Peru. Oh, my. Okay. Tamara gets three. Three cookies for Tamara. One for Elise who got Magenta Peru. Because that's got to be what the answer is. Cookie for Elise for Magenta Peru. Tamara got the other three. Seven, eight, nine. Green Uruguay, Blue India, and Red Andorra. <laughs> dessert first. Yes. Sweetie is also a fan of dessert first. All right. I think we've just got a couple more. So we've got 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay. I went straight to the last one. I think I've... Mm, I'm not sure if I could spell the country correctly. So we're looking for 11, 12, 13, and 14. Let's see what we got. Azure, Etri, er, Arishia, Teal, Latvia. Uh, don't think Tealapia quite works. Azure Arishia? Yellow Vanato. Vanato. That, that's what I thought for the for 14. Yes. So 11 is that's the Azure. Azure Etria. Azure Arishia. Yellow Vanato. I I've got that for 14. What is 12 and 13? Latvia is right. Oh, Lavita is right. Teal. I don't see how teal and then it would be two L's, I thought. A lot of Pacific Island countries here. <laughs> Isn't, that's fine. That's fine, Huli. All right, let me give out the ones that we do know, which is... Well, is it is it Azure Arishia? I don't know. Typing to be it's all good. It's all good, Uli. So I think we're furthest off on twelve and thirteen. Lime Eswatini. Is that Lime? I'm not familiar with S. Watini. It, she says, yep. Tamara thinks that's what the answer. All right. Well, we've spent, we spent a little bit of time on this. Tamara got 13. Teal Tuvalu. Teal Tuvalu. Teal Tuvalu. Okay. Used to be Swaziland. It's now called S. Watini. All right, let me look at the answers. 
So Azure er Eritrea, Eritrea. I, I'm not even familiar with that one. Lime Eswatini. Okay, that's a Marahead. Teal tu Tuvalu. I, and Vanatau and Tuvalu, I, I recognize. I think it's because I've I've been reading articles that those Pacific Island countries are in danger of disappearing due to um, uh, sea level rises. Hmm. It's embarrassing. Man, I, I don't even know some of these countries. All right, but uh, let's see. Azure Arishia. Let me make sure I get the... I'm going to go one cookie at a time. All right, Elise for number... 11. <laughs> I'm going to do one at a time because I don't want to. Palau? Yeah. Pal uh, no, no. Palau. Tuvalu and Vanatu. Oh, you mean an earlier Palau? Yes. Orange Palau was the second one. Orange Palau. I, it must be. You've been to 70 countries, but Swaziland changed their names and I didn't. <laughs> Send them a baker's dozen. <laughs> All right. Lime Eswatini for Tamara. All right. Cookie for Tamara for Lime. So I'm doing them one at a time. They're all Pacific Island countries. Teal Tuv Tuvalu. Uh, Tamara got that one first. Elise also got it, but later. That's for 13 and number 14, Yellow Veneto. If that's even how I pronounce it correctly. That one's for Tamara first. Elise also got it, but Tamara got that one first. All right, there we go. I think that wraps up the cookies. All right, let's go to the next puzzle. This puzzle has a different answer depending where you live. Oh, did I, did I mess up somewhere, Tamara? Uh, what letter should replace the underscore in the below sequence? The answer will be different depending on where you live. Scroll down for a clue and further down for the answer. What letter should replace the underscore in the below sequence? Mm. <laughs> Geography study has an application. It has an application for Purtle Monday, apparently. What letter should replace this underscore? I'm seeing HPAT is is repeated. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words, I guess. Each one starts with HPAT. This one ends with our underscore S, COS, POA. G O F O O T P H dash B P and D H. Mm. Oh, days. You think these are days of the week? Since there's seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Yeah, could be. So what we're trying to fill in is this underscore. Hmm. Brian thinks that it's some type of like code that we have to translate. 
But wait, okay, the, the clue that we were given is that this puzzle has a different answer depending on where you live. So what, how would... How would our missing letter vary depending on where we live? Is it a British English versus American English thing? Is it something, instead of days of the week, maybe it's a unit of measurement where it's English instead of metric or metric instead of English? HPAT, then we got underscore S, HPAT, then COS, POA, GOF, HPAT, OOTP, HPAT, then H dash BP, and then HPAT, and then the letters DH. I guess we need a hint. What is this missing letter in the sequence of this first of seven? I don't know. I'm going to look at the hint. No, no hint yet, says Brian. Okay, no hint yet. Make a new word. So it goes underscore S C O S P O A G O F O O T P H dash VP and then the last one is DH. Okay, I know you guys can't see that very well. I will. I don't know if this matters or not. If it's an abbreviation, then OOT might be out of out of the, or at least something of the. Okay, if you think it's an abbreviation. I'm not seeing it yet. I don't know, I might be completely off with the fact that those first four letters are something. So what is this missing letter in the sequence? It's in the first of seven, I'm guessing, words. Words have different lengths, assuming letters are straight uh, substitutions. Puzzle has a different answer depending on where you live. What letter should replace the underscore in the below sequence? The answer will be different depending on where you live. Is there some other group of seven, like uh, Brian talked about the days of the week, It's Googleable. <laughs> well, the answer is down below. There are seven deadly sins. Mm -hmm. Seven deadly sins. Seven continents. Okay. 
Africa, South America, North America, Europe, Asia, Australia. Seven Wonders of the World. Mm hmm. <clears throat> I, I don't know the answer to this one either. I'm, I'm working just like everybody else here. Seven dwarfs. At could be in. The, the Tamara seems to think these are abbreviations. At could be the, the at symbol, even. HP at, like it's a, an email address. Seven Harry Potter books. <laughs> All right, Tamara thinks these are the an abbreviation. It's for so H P A T are like the first four words and all the four words. That's the answer. Harry Potter. Oh, Harry Potter and something. Missing is S or P. It is Harry Potter. S and it ends up S is the answer. Harry Potter and the is that what? Uh, okay. First letters of titles in a book series. Uh, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So the answer is P or S. So one is Philosopher's Stone. In the USA, the first book is called The Sorcerer's Stone. Okay. Harry Potter books. All right. Cookie for Elise. Sorcerer's Stone and Philosopher's Stone, depending on... Where it was. All right. Is there any more? A mystery three-letter word? A three-letter word has been removed from the following words. Can you determine the three-letter word? All right. Let me see how many. Let me see how many of these there are there before. Oh, there's only one, two. Okay, there's only five of them. All right. We can we can do these. All right. And you guys can see that. Yes. So we're. It's a. I'm assuming it's a common five-letter word or six-letter word with a common three-letter word inside. <laughs> da Davio? Is it Davio? <laughs> Tamara thinks the first one is rat for ratio. I see that. Ratio. So that third word is a six-letter word with all of them. Yeah, I'll go ahead and give a cookie for Tamara. I like the rat in there for ratio. Which ITC? It does fit, Bobby, but I don't I don't see that as a three letter word. Oh, it goes with all three? R A T? Oh, wrath. It's all rat. Oh, rat. Crater. Okay, I can see it now. I rate and rating. Oh, okay. They're all R-A-T. Rat. Rats. Three-letter word is an animal. Ratio, wrath, crater, I rate, rating. All right. Well, that's not too bad. <laughs> Rats is correct. Two donkeys. I have two donkeys in front and a country behind. How did I die? I have two donkeys in front and a country behind. How did I die? All right, I think I have it. Yeah, all right. At least, uh, all right. I, I, I want to think I got. I was as quick as Elise this time. Assassination, assassination. So it's ass, ass, and then nation. Okay, okay, okay. So Elise got that one first, but Bobby D was right behind. Cookie for Elise. That's not bad. That's not bad. I have two donkeys in front and a country behind. How did I die? It's a weird one. 
assassination. <laughs> um, okay, I think I think we've had I think we've had that one. I, I kind of recognize the little fire thing. All right, so we're gonna move on. How are we doing? Eight thirty. All right, we'll do a couple of riddles. Uh, we'll do this one. So this is Riddle Watt. This is my favorite riddle website. Oh, this is a long word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten letter word. And I think the text is big enough. Sassy's here. Sassy is here for Riddle Watt. Welcome, Sassy. I'm going to close that. Nope, I don't want to save it. My story has often been told according to legend of old. If you look in the air and you see a curve there, you can follow it and get my gold. Leprechaun, leprechaun, leprechaun. Oh, okay. Leprechaun. Leprechaun is correct. Alan K, welcome. He comes in, he gets a cookie. That's how it works. All right, let's go do another riddle. It never seems so much could go wrong when you take out this thin little oblong. But then you get hooked in, and before you can win, your money has all told you so long. It's another long word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letter word. It never seems so much could go wrong when you take out this thin little oblong. But then you get hooked in, and before you can win, your money has all told you so long. Bobby D thinks casino. Gambling is not enough letters. I'm going to count the letters again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letter word. Slot machine, says JK Pioneer. Slot Slot machine is actually too many letters. Credit card is the right number of letters. Credit card is the answer. James, and welcome. James comes in and he gets a cookie. That's how it works here. Credit card. Let me. I'm going to repeat the riddle. It never seems so much could go wrong when you take out this thin little oblong. But then you get hooked in, and before, before you can win, your money has all told you so long. Okay. Credit card. Nice. Nice job, nice job James. Next riddle. Snow Laser Education District. This means what? Four letter word. Yeah, is if it's sled, it's kind of all right, it's sled. All right. That's not that difficult. Bobby D gets the answer. He got first. <laughs> Outcast searcher, welcome. <clears throat> All right, we will move on. Let's see if we get something a little bit better than that one. Over 1,000 people went down on me. I wasn't a maiden for long. Something really big and hard ripped me open. What am I? Oh, goodness. <laughs> it's a seven-letter word, and I'm not repeating the... I'm not repeating... The riddle again. Seven letters. Titanic. Titanic, Titanic. Oh, my. Titanic. Titanic is the answer. Wow. Thousand people. Maiden voyage. <laughs> X is for X-rated. <laughs> All right. So we had a couple of Titanics. Looks like Alan K was able to type the fastest. Cookie for Alan K. But Sassy got it. And Elise also got it. I see Berg. Cookie for Alan K. All right, moving on. 
Riddle Watts. <clears throat> this brave alien gets into fights and changes the wrongs into rights. That's his whole game. If you don't know his name, his initial is there on his tights. Oh my. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Superman, Superman, Superman. Superman is the answer. Elise was able to type the fastest Cal Lazars. <laughs> All right, we will get back to riddles. Check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark. Oh, we did those already. I thought I had it set up so that it would not display. All right, this is the I believe this is the front page riddle. Too little. Okay, we'll do this. This is the front page riddle. I'm not able to get the uh, hints or clues, I don't think. Too little of me, the world goes dark. Enough of me, the world wants more. Too much of me, the world goes dark, but no one ever calls me Extreme City. Yeah, I, I understand, Sassy. It Sometimes it just comes, by the time it gets to me, there might be a little bit of lag there. Bobby D says sunlight. All right, we got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Sunlight is not enough. It's 11 letters. Las Vegas says... Uh, okay, Las Vegas is not enough letters. 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Electricity. Hey, electricity is the right one. And oh, and other people got it. James, Amy, welcome. Bobby D got it. electricity. So if you have a riddle you would like to put onto uh, the front page of Rotowat, you now know the answer to the front page. You can go ahead and put in your own riddle on. Um, Riddlewatt, that's R, I'm gonna, you know, why, not? why don't I just put it into the chat? If you want to put in your own riddle that goes on to Riddlewatt, you now know the front page riddle answer. The clue was city, okay. I fly like, oh, I don't realize bourbon red. <laughs> uh, if you have a, a riddle that you wanna make up and put it on the front page, you can go and put it on the front page now. The answer to the front page riddle is electricity, did I give out the clue? Did I give out the cookie? No, I did not. Cookie. Copy. Uh, first one with electricity was Elise. Cookie for Elise. CPU. And Wi-Fi. Cookie for Elise who got electricity first, but other one. Also by James and Amy and Bobby D and Sassy all got electricity also. All right, back to riddles. Back to riddles. When this lovely place joined the nation, it gave us a nice spot to vacation. But still it was famed, even when it was named, for a luncheon gustation creation. We have six letters. One, two, three, four, five, six. I see Hawaii, Hawaii. Oh, is that what Hawaii stands for? A lot of people know their Hawaii history, I guess. Sandwich Islands, is that, is that what they mean? For a luncheon gustation creation. All right, well, the first one, the, the one who could type the fastest was Alan Kay. <laughs> Why used to be called the Sandwich Islands? Okay, I didn't know that. Riddles. This ancient technology dares to mold liquid rock into squares. It might be on your street or under your feet, and sometimes it's even on stairs. Okay. I think I know the answer to this one, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight. Yeah, concrete. It's got to be concrete, right? Concrete is the answer. The first one was Amy. Amy got it first. Cookie four. Amy seeks concrete. All right, we're going through these pretty quick. This adverb gives no contentment. Ambitions see their end and you resent. But before giving up, it is all you hear, not at the finish, but it is quite near. One, two, three, four, five, six letter word. Six letter word. This adverb gives no contentment. Ambitions see their end and you resent. But before giving up, it is all you hear. Not at the finish, but it is quite near. Nearly. Oh, you think they they just gave it to you and then you just add L-Y to make it? Uh, it is not nearly. <laughs> or almost. Almost. Or close. Almost. Almost is the right answer. It was it was six letters. I thought I said that. <laughs> I don't know, we're going through these pretty quickly. All right, we'll go through one more riddle lot riddle. You measure my life in hours and I serve you by expiring. I'm quick when I'm thin and slow when I'm fat. The wind is my enemy. What am I? Oh, all right. <laughs> It is six letters, not nine, I candle. Yes, candle's the answer, cookie for Huli. I mean, all right, let me put it in. Answer is candle, measure my life in hours. Cookie for Huli. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of Riddle Watt. So I had a, a collection and I've had this for now a couple weeks. These are sort of brain teaser puzzles. We'll do a few. So I've got two of them on the screen. Let me again make sure you guys can see that. Yeah, it looks all right. I left my campsite and hiked south for three miles. Then I turned east and hiked for three miles. Then I turned north and hiked for three miles, at which time I came upon a bear inside my tent eating my food. What color was the bear? Are the riddles getting easier or are we getting smarter? Oh, maybe a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. We did two before, white, 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 white. Uh, yes, the bear is a polar bear, which is white. Because they're at the North Pole. Polar bear. Yep. Okay, I've had that one before. There are, a couple of, there are a couple of better ones in this group that I couldn't tell what the answer is right away. But Michael, Stefan, welcome. Michael gets a cookie. A woman shoots her husband, then she holds him underwater for over five minutes. Finally, she hangs him, but five minutes later, they go out together and enjoy a wonderful dinner together. How can this be? Yes, photographer. We've also had this one before, but I, I trust me, they get better. The woman is a photographer. She shot a picture of her husband, developed it, and hung it up to dry. Hang, it, hang with me. They get better. Yeah, we've had three times this, Sassy. All right, well, it's a, it's a pretty good one. Uh, photographer, cookie for Huli. All right, except that uh, got to spell Huli correctly. There we go. All right, so let's see. Four. All right, what is special about these words? Job, polish, and herb. Hang with me, says Riddle. <laughs> it gets better. Can anybody see me? I see you, Tony. I see you, Tony. You, you've just been just been beat out. I've seen you had some correct answers. Yes, they're pronounced differently. So, job or job, polish, polish, 
herb and herb pronounced differently. Let me just confirm that. Oh, they're pronounced differently when the first letter is capitalized. All right, I, I, that's that's good enough. Names, upper, lowercase. Yep, so they're pronounced differently when you have lower and uppercase. So I'm going to give two cookies. Bri cookie gets, uh, Brian gets a cookie. Whew. I got to slow down. Cookie for Brian, but it's upper and lower case, as Elise says. And I haven't even gotten into number four yet, which we says... I'm taken from a mine, shut up in a wooden case for which I'm never released, and yet I'm used by almost everybody. What am I? Yeah, we've had that one before too. We're gonna give this a some we we've gonna give it a chance though. So go ahead and give me the answer for number four. I'm taken from a mine and shut up in a wooden case. Mm, no, not a clock. From which I am never released, and yet I'm used by almost everybody. Timepiece. Okay, maybe that's. Am I not thinking? Yeah. Okay, that's that's what I'm thinking. But no, not clock, not timepiece, not gold. Okay, I guess everybody's forgotten. <laughs> or I don't know why I remembered this one. Oh, four we've had before. The the job, job polish polish. Okay, well, we've had number five before. I didn't remember uh, number four. I, I hadn't remembered we had that one. But it's not clock. It's not timepiece. It's not gold. It's not echo. But you're you're. It's like you're all re remembering the answers <laughs> to different riddles. But I love it. <laughs> I'm taken from a mine and shut up in a wooden case. From which I am never released, and yet I am used by almost everybody. It's not CPU. It's not silence. <laughs> Might as well throw shadow in there. Try, somebody guess shadow. <laughs> yes, pencil. Pencil lead. Pencil lead. Cookie for sassy. Pencil lead. <clears throat> pencil lead. All right. So we're going to do these one at a time. All right, we're going to skip that one because we've had that one recently. All right, number seven. <laughs> I can't be bought, but I can be stolen with the glance. I'm worthless to one, but priceless to two. What am I? We all use those wooden thermometers. <laughs> and number eight there says, turn me on my side and I am everything. Cut me in half and I am nothing. What am I? And let me give you what the answers are. Oh, okay. Love is correct. Love is correct. I can't be bought, but I can be stolen with a glance. I'm worthless to one, but priceless to two. So Sassy got it right before Bobby D. Cookie for Sassy. For love. Number eight is eight. Yes. Turn me on my side and I am everything. Cut me in half and I am nothing. The answer is eight. Davo Braun, welcome. And Davo Braun gets a cookie. Elise was just a little bit behind. Worthless to one. I don't know about that. <laughs> Seems like a memory game. Okay. All right, let's see. Nine and ten. All right, no matter how little or how much you use me, you can change me every month. What am I? And number 10 is how can eight plus eight equal four? <laughs> Double omegas. Calendar. No matter how little or how much you use me, you change me every month. What am I? Yeah, calendar. It all it looks so obvious now that I see the now that I see it. And Davo Braun says 10 is a clock. 8 plus 8 equals 4. Oh, yeah. 16, 1600 hours would be 4 o'clock. So it's a calendar and a clock. We've got two time, time represented ones. Calendar. And it's time. Phew. You guys are good.
All right, who had Calendar first? Calendar was Elise first. Cookie for Elise. And the clock was Davo Braun. Cookie for Davo. All right, we're going to end it there. It's a little short from an hour, but that's okay. Because we all ate our vegetables this weekend, I guess. There's very little downtime on the puzzles today. Lots of cookies were given out. Well, I hope everybody had a good time today doing puzzles and riddles. I'm going to cut it off there. Uh, Calazar's, I believe, is sometime tonight. We'll see. Sometime tonight. I don't think he's had it scheduled, but he was popping in every once in a while. Uh, but I want to hope everybody enjoys the rest of their Monday. Enjoy the rest of the week. I'll see everybody again Monday for Priddle Monday. Take it easy, everybody. No Rebuses. <laughs> I had a couple, but not this week. Maybe next week. Maybe next week, Bobby D. Rebuses. Is, 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 is. <laughs> All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>